Right now, the next thing we need to do is to add a progress activity indicator in our login and registration pages. So, if you notice appropriately, when we try to log in or when we try to register, when we click on each of the buttons, either login button or registration button, when the process is happening in the background, our app is just bare, like there's nothing communicating to the user that a process is running on the ground. So what we want to do is to add a progress indicator that is going to tell the user that yeah, you need to exercise some patience, please wait, we are logging you in, you know, things like that. So example of that is what we have on our screen. So this is a completed project. So I'm going to go ahead and provide some of the information. So when I read the registration button, you can see an example of what we are going to have at the end of the day. So that's exactly what we need to do in this lesson. So without wasting much time, let's get right into it. Okay, so the first thing I want to do will be to go ahead and reload my storyboard file because I want the colors and everything to be showing up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and change the colors so that the color issue will be resolved. And bam! Alright, now to create a progress indicator there are two things that we need. First, we need an overlay, like something that is going to create a dark background. And on the top, we are going to have another view that is going to display the activity indicator and also a label that is going to communicate the status or the progress of whatever tax that we are running on the background. Now, the first thing we need to do will be to go ahead and add a view that is going to serve as an overlay and is going to cover the entire screen of our login page. So to be able to have this, I need to go ahead and hide this view. The reason for this is because if we add another view on top of this, the view will be contained inside of this view. But this is not exactly what we want to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and hide this view first of all by going to the property window and unchecking this property that says any any installed. Alright, so we've successfully removed that view. Now the next thing I need to do will be to go to our toolbox and I'm going to drag in a view to our view controller. Like I already explained before, if you run into an issue like this, when you added, when you added an element and it doesn't show, rather you will see the element on your mouse. The best way to resolve this is by closing Visual Studio entirely. So before you do that, you need to go ahead and save all to ensure that all your work is saved. And you can now go ahead and quit Visual Studio. Now I'm going to go ahead and run Visual Studio again so that we can be able to open up the project so that everything will return back to normal. Okay, so our project is loading up. Alright, so if you click on this panel, you'll see that the view that we added before we had that error it was actually added successfully. So what I need to do will be to go ahead and expand this because we want it to cover the entire page. Alright. Now the next thing we need to do is to go to the property window and we're going to go to layout. So what we want to do is to ensure that the view covers all the layouts on any screen size. So now that we have this out of the way, the next thing we need to do will be to go ahead and set the background. So the background is going to be black color. And after that, we need to go ahead and adjust the alpha, which is more like the transparency. Okay, so this will suffice. So now the next thing I need to do will be to go ahead and give this view a name. So I'm going to call it Overlay. Alright, and after that, the next thing we need to do will be to hide it. And we're going to go to our toolbox and drag another view. Alright, so this view is going to serve as our progress dialog. So I'm going to reduce the size a little bit, so I think this will do. So I'm going to ensure that this is at the center. Alright, so our view is now centralized. We need to change the background to something a little bit dark, so that we'll be able to make some edits to it. So I'm going to set the corner radius to 4. Now the next thing we need to do will be to go ahead and add an activity indicator to the view. So when we get to the toolbox, we can easily search for activity indicator. Alright, so I'm going to drag this to the view. 
So I'm going to go to the properties and I'm going to set the behavior to be animating. And the default color is going to be color ascent. All right. So I think this size is just very okay. Now the next thing we need to do will be to add a label inside the view. So I'm going to drag a label. All right. So the text is going to read, please wait. All right. And the name of this label is going to be progress status. Progress status test, rather. Okay. So this is almost all we need to do. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and give this view a name. So I'm going to call it progress bar. And I'm going to change the background back to white. And lastly, we need to go ahead and properly set the auto sizing and alignment. So I want this to always be in the middle. Okay, so this is the proper auto sizing. So we just want it to be at the center for any screen size. So now is the time that we can now go ahead and re enable the views that we disabled before. So I'm going to click on this view controller. And I'm going to go to document outline okay so the name didn't actually reflect so I'm going to go back and change the name so I thought I did change the name before okay I made a mistake all right okay so we need to go ahead and re-enable our overlay and we also need to enable this view as well So everything seems back to normal, but the normal state of this view that we just added is going to be hidden. So when we run our app, we don't want to be seeing the overlay. So I'm going to go ahead and make it hidden for now. So in the properties, you can see a checkbox that reads hidden. So I'm going to go ahead and tick on the hidden. All right. And also I need to go ahead and hide my progress bar for now. Okay. Now the next thing we need to do will be to go to the code behind our login view controller. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and fold all of this up. So towards the tail end of our code, so I'm going to create two methods that's going to take care of displaying our progress bar and hiding our progress bar. So here I'm going to have void show progress bar. So this method is going to take in a parameter. So the parameter is going to be status. So here I'm going to have progress status dot test, which is the small label that we see inside of our progress bar. So this is referring to the little test that we have in our progress bar that is currently saying please wait. So whilst our app is running, we can decide to change what displays as our status so we can decide to say please wait or we can decide to say logging you in or registering you or whatever thing that we might want to communicate with our users. So it is going to be equal to status. I'm going to have overlay the hidden. This is going to be false and progress bar the hidden is going to be equal to false. And I'm going to go ahead and create another method. This is going to be hide progress bar. So here I'm going to go ahead and say overlay dot hidden equal to true and progress bar dot hidden equal to true. All right. So where are we going to be making use of these methods? So immediately we click on the login button. We need to go ahead and display our progress bar. So I'm going to go into our login button. So just before we start the process that is going to sign in our user, I'm going to go ahead and call the method show progress bar and I'm going to go ahead and pass in a status that says login you in so if there's any form of error we need to go ahead and hide our progress bar and if the login was successful before we proceed to the next page we need to go ahead and hide our progress bar as well okay so this is exactly what we want to have now to verify that all of this works I'm going to try to log into the app so that we can see how effective our activity indicator is. Okay, so let's go ahead and provide our information. Alright, so let's go ahead and click on login and see what happens. And bam, so this is our activity or progress indicator. 
So everything checks out just the way we expected it. But there is something else that we need to do. We need to make this background to be much more darker. So to do that, I need to increase the alpha to 8.0. I think 7.0 will just be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and test this and see the changes. Alright, so let's go ahead and click on login again. Alright, so we have a much darker background, which is exactly what we want to have. So before we wrap up with this lesson, we need to go ahead and integrate our activity indicator in the registration page as well. So I need to go ahead and resolve the color issue. Okay, since it doesn't get resolved, we're going to carry on. So I need to go ahead and hide this first of all. And I'm going to copy this and paste this here. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and set the name to be overlay. I'm going to go ahead and hide it as well. And I'm going to select our progress bar and paste it here. So I'm going to go to the property window and give it a name. And the name is going to be progress bar. And the name of our label is going to be progress status test. Progress status test. Okay, so if we confirm, this is already hidden. So we just need to go to our document outline. And we're going to make this view to be visible. So we're going to install it back. And also, we need to go ahead and install our overlay. Okay. Now, to ensure that we don't spend time writing code that we've already written before, so I'm going to go to Login View Controller. I'm going to copy these two methods. Now I'm going to go ahead and open the registration view controller, which is this. So I'm going to scroll down. So I'm going to go ahead and paste this code here. So we are going to be using these two methods. So immediately we click on register button. Before we start the process that is going to register the user, we need to show progress bar. And here I'm going to go ahead and pass registering you as a status. And if there is any error, we need to go ahead and hide the progress bar. And before we log in to the main page, that's if registration was successful, we're going to go ahead and hide the progress bar as well. Okay guys, so with this we successfully added progress indicator in both our login page and our registration page. So this will be all for now. See you in the next class.